Hi, good morning Alban. My name is Mahira. I'm your invigilator for the OIT speaking session on the 26th of July 2023. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name for the record, please? My full name is Alvin Newman. And what is your candidate number? My candidate number is 18170-1817. Okay, and are you taking this test as a nurse? Yes, correct. All right. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. Thank you for the verification. Now, let's move on to the warm-up sessions. The warm-up questions are not assessed, and are a chance for us, to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right. Importance of the English language in your profession. The English language is very important for me as a nurse, because it allows me to communicate effectively with patients and other healthcare professionals from different backgrounds and cultures. It also helps me to learn from the latest medical developments and share my own knowledge and experience with others. I think a good medical English program for nurses should teach medical terminology, practical language, and nurse-patient interactions. How will you greet a patient admitted to the hospital? I would greet a patient admitted to the hospital by introducing myself as their nurse and asking for their name and preferred pronouns. I would also explain the purpose of my visit and the procedures or treatments that I will perform. I would use a friendly and respectful tone and maintain eye contact and a smile. I would also ask the patient how they are feeling and if they have any questions or concerns. I would listen attentively to their responses and address them accordingly. I would also thank the patient for their cooperation and inform them when I will visit them again. How will you console a patient admitted to the hospital? I would console a patient admitted to the hospital by showing empathy and compassion for their situation and feelings. I would acknowledge their pain, fear, or anxiety and validate their emotions. I would also offer them support and encouragement by highlighting their strengths and coping skills. I would also provide them with relevant information and education about their condition and treatment options. I would also ask them if they need anything or if they have any questions or concerns. I would listen attentively to their responses and address them accordingly. I would also respect their privacy and dignity and follow their wishes and preferences. How do you deal with patients from different cultures and languages? I deal with patients from different cultures and languages by using language in terms they understand, respecting their cultural and religious beliefs, learning about their culture and background, and being aware of my own biases and stereotypes. I aim to provide care that is culturally competent and respectful. How do you deal with patients who are not comfortable sharing their personal information? I deal with patients who are not comfortable sharing their personal information by explaining why I need it, asking for their consent, respecting their decision using clear language, and showing empathy and compassion. I aim to provide care that is respectful and appropriate. I also try to learn from the feedback and evaluation of my patients and colleagues, and seek opportunities to improve my skills and knowledge. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patient, or perhaps a relative, and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No, Mahira. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when the three minutes are up. You can ask me if there is anything you are not sure about and you can make notes on the role play card, if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you, Mihira. You can look at the card during the test, but, you must return it to me, at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
Your preparation time is over. You can now start your role play. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Good morning. My name is Nurse Albin, and I'll be assisting you today. How can I help you? Good morning, Nurse Albin. I have come to the clinic today because I am concerned about my big toenail. It has become yellow and thickened. I see. For documentation purposes, could you please tell me your full name and age? Sure. My name is Mahira, and I am 35 years old. Thank you for sharing the information. I would like to get more information about your symptoms to better understand your condition. Yes, I will brief you about my condition. I've noticed this change for the past few weeks. There is some occasional itching and tenderness around the toenail, but it's not very painful. Thank you for letting me know. Can I have your consent to examine your fingernails? Sure, you may please. Mihira, based on my observation and your symptoms, I suspect that you might have a condition called onychomycosis, which is a fungal infection of the nail. Don't worry, it's quite common and can affect anyone. The fungi responsible for onychomycosis thrive in warm and damp environments. Oh, I see. But how did I get this infection? Your question is reasonable. Onychomycosis can be contracted from various places, such as public pools, gyms, or showers. Where the fungi can spread. It's also more likely to occur if your feet are often sweaty and confined in shoes. That makes sense. So, what are the treatment options for onychomycosis? Yes, there are several treatment options available, Mihira. They include oral antifungal medications, medicated nail polish or creams, and, in some severe cases, surgery to remove the affected nail. Each option has its benefits and risks. I see. I prefer non-surgical approach if possible. How long will it take to see results with the chosen treatment? Mihira, I am sorry to say the exact time scale for your complete recovery. The recovery depends on individual cases and the treatment options we choose. But it's essential to be patient as nail fungal infections can take some time to clear up completely. With topical treatments, improvement may be noticeable in a few months, while oral medications may take longer. I understand. Now, how can I prevent the fungus from spreading or coming back? Excellent question. To prevent recurrence, it's essential to keep your feet clean and dry, wear breathable shoes and socks, avoid walking barefoot in public places, and regularly trim your nails. These measures can help reduce the risk of reinfection. Thank you for the advice. I'll be sure to follow it. You're welcome. Mihira, do you have any other concerns that I need to address? No, nurse. It's fine for the movement. All right. Additionally, I recommend you make a doctor's appointment if your condition persists. So as to have a health check to rule out any underlying problems or causes and to treat it definitely. Meanwhile, we'll schedule a follow-up appointment to monitor your progress and adjust the treatment if needed. That's a perfect option. Yes. Now, Mihira, let me summarize what we've discussed. You came here with concerns of a big yellow toenail. Based on your symptoms and observation, we suspect you have a mycosis, and we've discussed the possible causes for your condition. Then, I explained the possible treatment options. You prefer a non-surgical approach, and we'll start with topical antifungal treatment. I've also provided you with some preventive measures to follow. That sounds good. I appreciate your help, Nurse Albin. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or concerns, feel free to reach out. Take care, and we'll see you at the follow-up appointment. I wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you. Goodbye. That is the end of your OIT speaking role play. All the best. Thank you, Mihira. Thank you for watching. Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.